Hi Libra, from the 1st of January until the 21st of January, you have Mars and Jupiter conjuncting each other in Scorpio in your second house of money and belongings. Now Mars is the archetypal male principle of drive and desire. Jupiter is the planet of good luck and good fortune. And in the sign of Scorpio, you're really going to get a lot of intuitive insights and a lot of guidance when it comes to how you can create wealth and abundance for yourself. So really listen to the information that you get especially at the beginning of the month, the first and the second, when we have that full moon in Cancer, because you're going to get a lot of information which is going to give you new ideas of how you can make yourself more prosperous in your day-to-day -day life. On the 2nd of January, Uranus, the planet of eccentricity and rebellion and drive, goes direct in your seventh house of relationships. So now the focus is going to be on how I can make my relationships more effective, how I can use my energy to drive relationships forward and how to create opportunities through relationships by applying myself. So you're really going to have a knack for that. And out of all of the signs, you're going to have an understanding of how you can build relationships which are going to benefit you, not just personally, emotionally, but also financially and in business. On the 2nd of January as well, we have the full moon in Cancer. And I've made a separate video on this. Have a look. It's a wonderful full moon. It's also a super moon that really puts you in this amazing intuitive bubble, which gives you a lot of information and understanding about yourself. And guess what? It happens in your 10th house of career. So out of all of the signs, Libra, you're the one who's going to get most understanding about business, career, finance, how you can make yourself more prosperous. It forms a grand trine with that lucky planet Jupiter and Mars and Neptune in your sixth house. Neptune being the dream planet. So you can really achieve your hopes and dreams if you listen to the information that comes in during that supermoon on the 1st and 2nd of January. The most energy you've got during the month is in your fourth house of family. You've got Saturn, Black Moon Lilith, Venus, your Midheaven, the Sun and Pluto all in Capricorn in your fourth house. So you're really going to work very hard on your family relationships as well as having this focus on business. But the work that you do in your family relationship doesn't feel like oh, I'm working to make things better. It almost feels like I'm being supported by my loved ones. I feel grounded and structured because I have these people in my life, which frees me up to pursue other things. So the work that you do in your family is kind of effortless and it supports you in your working endeavors. The communication planet Mercury also goes into Capricorn and it joins all of those other planets on the 11th of January. And that makes it even more easy for you to communicate one-to-one -one or with family members. So listen to what they have to say, listen to their advice, listen to what they have to offer. If you feel that they're just, um, just by being around family, you're kind of restored and it gives you strength. Make sure you spend a lot of time with family here in January because it supports you and it builds you up so that you can achieve all of these wonderful things in your working life. If you don't have a family, your birth family, if you're not in contact with them, or if you don't have your own children or siblings or anything like that, your friends who are like family, spend time with people who you're really close to. Just by being around them, you'll feel stronger within yourself. Now, that gets stronger and stronger and stronger because on the 17th of January, we have the new moon in Capricorn. And again, I'll make a separate video on this to go into more detail. But for you, Libra, it happens in your fourth house of family. The new moon is when the moon pulls in extra energy to start its next monthly cycle. And in Capricorn, it gives you that ability and that structure when it comes to your relationships and the roots, your home. The, the sense of I'm grounded within myself, I'm grounded within the people who love me, who are around me, and therefore I can really reach heights that I never otherwise would have had the confidence to reach. So use your amazing platform and foundation that you've got here in January to realize your hopes and dreams when it comes to your financial life and your career. On the 18th of January, Venus moves into Aquarius and it leaves your fourth house and moves into your fifth. 
On the 20th, the Sun does the same, it moves into Aquarius. And then on the 23rd of January, the transiting midheaven, which has to do with work, also goes into Aquarius in your fifth house. So now the focus isn't just on family relationships, it's also on romantic relationships and how you can have fun in those relationships and how you can have a relationship that's really a partnership of equals. And remember, you've got Uranus in your seventh, allowing you to push forward and to create opportunities. So here in the second half of the month, this is really ideal for you to date, to find a new partner if you're single, to create more understanding if you're already in a relationship. And the whole month, really, you're very, very blessed in terms of adding to your finances, finances rather, prosperity, but also having this amazing connection with other people that feels natural and um, like people of family. And that allows you to bring more people into your life and even new people who can then turn into family members. On the 27th of January, Mars, the archetypal male principle, leaves the conjunction with Jupiter and it moves into your third house of communication in Sagittarius. Now that will drive you to communicate more, to speed up the way you think, to start taking more action around your relationships, your finances, and it just quickens the pace. And the pace continues to get faster with the total lunar eclipse that happens in Leo on the 31st of January, and that occurs in your 11th house of hopes and dreams. Now, this is a full moon. It's the second full moon in the month, so it's a blue moon. So there's an element of magic associated with it already, but it's an eclipse that happens on the North Node and it's in Leo. So it's a full moon that's interrupted and because it's interrupted, the effects last for about six months. And it's on the North Node, so it pulls in all of this Leo energy and it really gives you the confidence to pursue your hopes and dreams when it comes to romantic relationships and creating family for yourself. So the first six months of 2018 Libra are really tailor-made for you to create your own family. And that's the big blessing. And that, if that has been a hope and dream of yours, really throw yourself into that because everything supports you. And even Uranus in your seventh gives you the energy to really push forward and to make that a reality. So that's what I get for you in January. January looks amazing for you. If you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregreescott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and I'll speak to you next month.